Hi everyone! Today I'm here to introduce you to a star-shaped educational PCB soldering kit that I've created called Give a Star. This kit is designed to help beginners learn the basics of soldering, programming, and electronics in a fun, interactive way. In this video, I will walk you through how I built the device and how you can make one yourself. I decided to pursue this project because I wanted to improve my PCB design skills alongside pursuing an educational project to help others learn the basics of microcontrollers, programming, and soldering. The current version of Project Give a Star allows you to display custom LED animations with the ESP32-S2 by clicking the push button. The project is open source and the components required are cheap, so this should be an inexpensive and easy project to build. Materials you will need to build the project include five resistors, a custom fabricated PCB, a 128 by 64 OLED screen, a few pin headers, a ESP32 S2 or a D1 Mini, one tactile push button, and five LEDs of any color. I started this project by planning a breadboard outline using Fritzing according to all the wiring configurations I listed in this project's GitHub repository. Once the breadboard diagram was complete, I rigged up the circuit on a standard breadboard, adhering to the wiring for the diagram I created. Once the breadboarding process of the project was complete, I began designing the custom PCB board for the project using KiCad. I started off by designing a simple schematic of the project and outlined the edge cuts into the star shape. The board was ready to fabricate, which brings us into the sponsor of this video, PCBWay. PCBWay is the leading online PCB manufacturer. PCBWay has sponsored many of my projects like the Wicon kit and their PCBs are great in quality, so I highly suggest you check them out at PCBWay.com. After the PCB board arrived at my house, I started soldering everything together, beginning with the pin soldering to the ESP32. Then I attached the ESP32 to the back of the PCB using some female header pins I soldered directly to the back. After that, I inserted and soldered a push button and five resistors to the PCB, cutting off any excess wire that was poking out of the back of the circuit board. Finally, the last things to add were the five LEDs and the OLED screen. I inserted the OLED screen to the front of the PCB board and soldered the back of it. Then I placed each LED carefully into the board, making sure that the cathode and anode was correctly situated. The code for this project is linked in the description below. Once you download the code, make sure you install all the correct dependencies and configure the board to either be the D1 Mini or the ESP32-S2. In this case, track the library and select the board from the draft. Once that is complete, your code should be good to go. 